listen to the people talking about you and all the things we do. They can't get enough of the service we're giving and that we're number one. We want to say thanks for all that we have achieved. Hi, I'm Jason. And I'm Mandeep. And, and we're, we're from, from Revenue, Revenue Management. Management. And, and the, the Go Forward, Forward Plan update, update starts now. Another victory for the Go Forward Plan. Thanks to you, 1997 could be the best year ever in our company's history. By working together, all 40,000 of us have compiled an impressive list of accomplishments. Airline of the Year, back-to-back -back J.D. Power Awards, and record-breaking load factors and profitability. As we enter the home stretch for 1997, we must continue working together to ensure our best year ever, because we still face challenges. While we continue to close the gap with other major airlines in the percentage of business travelers we attract, we still pay higher interest rates than our competitors on many items, and some airlines' efforts to create monopolies hinder our ability to compete in certain regions of the world. As we've demonstrated in the past, we can clear any obstacle in our path by working together. 
following the go forward plan can help ensure that 1997 will be our brightest moment yet. Let's get started with Fly to Win. Flying to places people want to go earned us our 10th straight quarter of record pre-tax profits, including $186 million in the third quarter. Other fly-to-win achievements include record yields of over 14 cents in February and our highest monthly load factor in history during August at almost 77 percent. In addition, our business mix continues to head toward industry average rising from just over 32% in 1994 to almost 45% of our revenue today. Continuing to improve our business mix is an integral part of Continental becoming a normal company. To help us do that, we continue to increase our exposure in the nation's business and financial center, New York City, by becoming the official airline of Broadway and the New York City Marathon. And soon we'll announce Carnegie Hall and Manhattan's Chelsea Pier Sports Complex. While today we don't have the network of Delta, United, or American, we can close the gap with them by raising our business mix to between 50 and 55 percent, generating potential revenues of up to $200 million. 1997 also saw our international service develop as Continental touched down worldwide in Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, Lisbon, Dusseldorf, Birmingham, England, and Vancouver. New destinations coming soon on our route map include Moscow, Caracas, Aruba, Santiago, Chile, Dublin and Shannon, Ireland, and Glasgow, Scotland. We now have passed United to become number two in destinations served to Latin America. By next summer, we'll also be number two in destinations served to Europe. Even more destinations are within reach for our customers, as we've added new alliance partners like Air France, Virgin Atlantic, EVA Air, ASAS, Gulfstream International, and Colgan Air. Hi, I'm Trish. I'm Diana. I'm Linda. I'm John. And I'm Chris. We're, We're from, from Revenue County. County. And, and here, here comes Fund the future. future. We finally own some of the company, not just our bankers. We've made strides to reduce the mountain of debt, cut interest costs, and replace costly airplanes with a modern fleet by placing a wide-body aircraft order for 26 extended-range 767s and 14 777s. These aircraft will eventually replace the DC-10s and expand our international and transcon service. The 777s will enter our fleet in the third quarter next year, with the 767s arriving mid-year 2000. In addition, 14 757s will be delivered through the second quarter of 1999 and more than 90 737s, including the new generation 737-700 and 737-800, will be joining our fleet between now and the fourth quarter of 1999. At Continental Express, we exercised options for 25 more regional jets. Express will now take delivery of 50 RJs with options for an additional 150 over the next 12 years. All 25 RJs from the initial order will be in service by the second quarter of 1998. Continental is developing a fleet to make us competitive in every market, reduce aircraft costs, and provide the latest in comfort and technology for our customers. I believe it's important for Continental to purchase new aircraft to maintain a higher level of reliability for our passengers and our crew members. So. Um, they can expect an on-time departure, a clean aircraft, and provide them with a product that uh, they'll come back and want to use again. These new aircraft will cost us less to operate. For example, replacing the DC-930 fleet with 737-500s will save Continental more than $30 million a year in direct operating costs. Furthermore, since 1994, we've saved more than $130 million in net interest expense, with another $130 million still to go. 
We've also completed a $190 million bond financing at low interest rates to grow our lucrative Houston hub. The benefits are clearly visible as Continental Express moves its operation into Terminal B, offering more space, jet bridge loading for the RJs, and fast connections to Terminal C. Additional improvements in Houston include a people mover connecting Terminals B and C, a Terminal B President's Club, and a new maintenance hangar and mail sort facility. Uh, the Terminal B facility is nice from a passenger point and, a, and an employee point. It's nicer transfer for the passengers and the larger space and cleaner area for the employees makes it great. Uh, we're all working together a lot better. I think due to all of these uh, features that uh, the, the operation is running a lot better. We've cut other costs too, including paying off the last of our debts to Air Canada and locking in engine maintenance costs for 10 years with General Electric. We also refinanced debt and purchased back a minority interest in Continental Micronesia. And we secured a $225 million revolving line of credit. The first time in over a decade we've been able to do that. Every day we make reliability a reality. Our record-breaking summer proves we're delivering the industry's best product day in and day out. Consistency in all areas of customer service earned Continental the J.D. Power Frequent Flyer Award two years in a row. Air Transport World named us Airline of the Year. Cargo received the Federal Express Vision Award. And both the Wall Street Journal's Smart Money Magazine and Entrepreneur Magazine selected Business First as the best transatlantic product. Continental continued to perform well operationally. For the past seven quarters, Continental has ranked number one in fewest involuntary denied boardings. The airline has also been in the top three in best baggage handling 30 out of the last 31 months. While our on-time performance has at times dropped below the top three, our performance year over year has in fact improved. In most months this year, our arrivals exceeded our 1996 record. More significantly, this summer's performance exceeded last summer's by over four percentage points each month. Our industry-leading performance over the last two years has raised the industry standard, and the competition has been furiously trying to catch up with us by implementing their own on-time performance initiatives. The result? Even though our numbers are better than last year, our ranking has sometimes been lower than other carriers. With our competitors trying to overtake us, we need to focus more than ever on our on-time performance, particularly now as we drive toward a third consecutive J.D. Power Award. And we've done more to become the preferred carrier, including installing new GTE airphones introducing our award-winning Business First product into Latin America, and implementing a multi-million dollar Latinization project to customize our Latin American services. To increase our revenue on transcontinental routes from Newark, we'll soon unveil new Transcon product enhancements with such amenities as dedicated ticket counters, a special request telephone number, customer choice dining, and New York City remote check-in. It's important for Continental to consistently offer a quality product to our customers because they've come to expect on-time flights and uh, reliable baggage delivery. And in order to keep the high-yield business traveler coming back, we need to maintain or exceed those standards. Make reliability a reality was never more evident than through cargo's performance during the UPS strike. Our cargo team generated an additional $2 million in revenue by handling freight and mail shipments that exceeded Christmas volumes. Hi, I'm Don Ribby. And I'm Fred Smith. And, and we're, we're working, working together. together. By working together, Continental employees have made the airline what it is today, the best in the business. And employees have earned more as we've cut costs and added business travelers. Besides higher wages, we've had profit sharing two years in a row. 1997 profit sharing should be equal to 1996, even though we had to overcome the government's reimposition of a ticket tax. So circle February 12, 1998 now. 
That's when 1997 profit-sharing checks will be distributed. In addition, Continental paid more than $17 million in on-time performance bonuses so far this year. That's $495 per eligible employee. Since we began the program, Continental has paid more than $64 million in on-time performance bonuses. And because you raised the industry standards for on-time performance, saving us substantial sums of money on reaccommodation charges, you'll collect a $65 bonus check every month Continental finishes 80% or better for ranking second or third. You'll still collect a $100 bonus for finishing first, regardless of the on-time percentage. Working together is important because to stay on top, everybody knows that a team has to play together. And for all of us to work together and pull 100% every day that we're on the job is the only way we're going to stay number one in this industry. Continental remains committed to doing what's right for employees, including additional benefits for part-time employees in health insurance, vacation, sick time, and holiday pay. Rewarding more employees for perfect attendance with Ford Explorers, to date, Continental has given employees 22 sport utility vehicles valued at more than $800,000. And in 1997, we made another $10 million voluntary contribution to the retirement plan. That's $20 million total in the last 18 months. Because of these actions, our service to employees was recognized by Workforce Magazine when they awarded Continental their 1997 Optimus Award. It makes me feel absolutely wonderful, all of the extra bonus that Continental is giving back to the employees. They have proven to us that they are committed in sharing the profits with the employees. For example, the Ford Explorer, the on-time performers, the profit sharing, they are committed to the employees. But Continental's not stopping there either. Recognizing the cost savings and work synergies that will be achieved, Continental will relocate our worldwide headquarters to downtown Houston. In July, employees will be moving into office space at 1600 Smith and 600 Jefferson in the Central Business District, called the Continental Center. What else are we doing? Industry standard wages. By attracting more business flyers, we've earned more than $700 million since 1994, much of that going to employees. In that same period, employees have seen compensation increases of more than $750 million, a growth of nearly 25%. We have a proven track record of paying you more, a commitment the management team made three years ago. As we reach industry standard revenues and costs, we will pay industry standard wages. The company's track record in improving employee compensation is definitely moving in the right direction. As an employee of Continental, I feel good about that because the company is showing me that they appreciate my hard work. As we continue becoming a normal company and begin paying interest and rental rates and generating revenue like our competitors, we'll be able to pay industry standard wages within three years. Industry standard wage rates will be based on the average of the top ten carriers ranked by the DOT, excluding Continental. Profit sharing and on-time bonuses will be added to the industry standard wage, putting Continental above the standard. I'm really excited about the company's plan to bring employees pay up to uh, industry standards. I do plan on being here for several more years, and it's nice to know that the company is going to reward us for a job well done. 1997 has been a good year so far, but we must make it even better. Right now, frequent flyers are evaluating our service, and their votes will determine who will win the 1998 J.D. Power Frequent Flyer Award. Our goal is to win both the long and short haul categories and become the only carrier in history to win this prestigious award three years in a row. To do this, we need all departments to work together to focus on the items frequent flyers want the most. On-time performance superior baggage delivery, increased visibility and accessibility of customer contact employees, enhanced communication, and personalized friendly service. 
Furthermore, we want to work to become more aware of how we provide service to our disabled customers. It won't be easy because everyone will be trying to knock us off. We've set the standard and our competitors would like nothing better than to topple us off our perch. By winning the J.D. Power Award again, we can become the Chicago Bulls of the industry. Let's stay focused and go for the three-peat. Winning the J.D. Power a third time, I call it a three-peat, would be a dream come true. The first time you could consider as a fluke. The second time brought us pride and security. The third time would add excitement and I think focus us on the future. It feels pretty good to work for a normal company, doesn't it? Gone are the days of red ink, lousy pay, negative publicity, and poor performance. By working together under the Go Forward plan, we are the industry leader. We're becoming a normal company as measured by the revenue we generate and the interest and rental rates we pay for money and airplanes. As our business continues to improve, employee compensation will continue to grow. Now more than ever, we have to remain focused on what brought us to this level. On-time arrivals, every bag on every flight, a friendly smile for every customer. We can finish 1997 on a high note and make aviation history by taking home another J.D. Power Award. With all that we've accomplished, scoring a J.D. Power 3 should feel pretty normal.